One cow, let come close, I wouldn't want you to shout. Uh, to produce a cow uh, through free range, I usually spend around 50 shillings per cow. 50. For a goat, is between 15 to 20 shillings wow. daily. Yes, that is inclusive security, movement, feeding, housing, all that. If wow. you divide it per day, it's 15 shillings for a goat and uh, 50 shillings for a cow. In the auction, yeah. how much that cow goes? Uh, my, I, I, had a, I have a cow there uh, that would do $10,000 free. And the rest, uh, the, the lowest is around uh, $3,000. Irrigation is not a substitute for rain. Rain is a substitute for irrigation. Matt Mudama is my name, pastoralist farmer who I'm still an irrigation engineer, but now passionately doing my breeding here in Kwale, Kwale in Wamasa. Now, um, for a fact, with all the irrigation skills, the water skills, it, 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 it's so enticing and satisfying when you have all these girls around you, 90% uh, of them pregnant, and uh, will have uh, a new lot of kids in the next two months. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Keft Farm. This is the home of Gala, uh, Gala Goats, and uh, we, 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 we went to breed it of uh, bulls, but now the best way of doing the bulls, we get the heifers and then we move, uh, we move, the, we move down to the, to the ladder. Uh, currently around me, it's a herd of boran cows, mixed boran, they are limousine, cows here, there is cemento, there is brahman, all this uh, we are doing to, to have a security, for food security when it comes to the meat industry. These girls are so beautiful. Uh, they complement my life in the irrigation world. Kujani, Kujani, come, 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 come. Keep it farming with aim agriculture. If you are new to our YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, and share. Uh, Asha. This one treats the hooves uh, of goats, cows, and uh, the sheep. It's, uh, it's a natural disinfectant, and it works so well. For me, it's working. Why not? Why not at your place? Dr. Pelekezio kilos, what you have? bus. Turn it off. Turn it off. story. This is my breeding bull, a little nyati, with these girls. Eh? Nyati, you are a Sindio. Not a two on a cane to Salamia Watu. Eh? Just say hi. Say hi. Eh? Just say hi. Just say hi. Eh? Matana, eh? Not in business with you. Eh? Who else is pregnant? Aim Agriculture. Karibu. Karibu to Kef Farm. Finally, you are here. It's been a long journey. This is Wamasa in Kwale County, Kinango Sub County. People have been wondering, where is this? Yeah? Finally, we've met Matt Mudama. Matt Mudama is my name at Keft Farm. Uh, the irrigation engineer turned pastoralist. Pastoralism is very nice, very, very good. With me here, you, what are you looking at? I know you want to go and feed. Uh, my Brahman girl, I'm trying to, no, 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 we are going, we're going. Move, 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 yeah. I know the ladies are hungry. They want to go and get uh, to go and feed. And uh, the beauty about them, these are grass-fed, grass-fed cows. The difference between grass-fed cows and these other cows, the meat is leaner, the meat is sweet, and the meat is real. Keft Farm have specialized in breeding, not only the cows. We are doing uh, dopers and uh, gala goats. Very soon. This will be the home of Gala, and uh, you're looking at the president of Gala Goats. Uh, I want to show you some of the 
very unique cows. There, there is a limousine here, there is a cemento, there is a brahman. The white ones are brahman. Cemento is the tall one. Kuja, kuja, mstana. Mstana, come. Come, come. Twenty pane, twenty pane. This one with the whites. Yes, yes, 2020. 20. Niwe wena taka, niwe wena taka, 20, 20, 20, 20. That one is Cemento. These are Brahmans. Very nice breeds. Let me get a limousine. Not the vehicle. He's one of the limos. Where is she? And the, and the breeding bull. Yeah? He's into the women. He's mixed up, but he cannot do anything substantial apart from breeding, of which is a plus for me and makes. Ukumbuke, we are going to motor you. Eh, we are going to show you. We are going to panda now you. Oh, you. Ah, you, you, apa. We are going to know na panda wengine. We are going to panda na. Eh, we are going to do me. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Brr, pa. Twenty, 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 twenty. Maisha mfugaji. That's the life of a pastoralist. We go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Be good to the animals, they are good to you. It's as simple as that. Kwa na sikunjema, tukutane jioni. Sao. Ndwa kutuwa watoto? Kwa na sikunjema, tukutane jioni, fanya sabu na washibe. Sao, sao. Chunga ndofu? Aya. Wacha kunywa maji, wana nataka kunywa? Aya. Kwa hizi ngombe zangu, unasikia? Ndiyo maana kuna moja mepotea pala nitaka wende utu uangalia Kwa hizi ya mungu wa menezi Kwaidi, haa mado, bada jasawe ya tango hii Hei, lakini inaja huu Haa, haa, siya tuja sawe ya, lakini uko sawa Hata tapita pa, hee The sweetness of water I'm a male, do you want to talk to me? Now, yes, these are the mature females which have given birth at least once. They are back from the fields. Water is a necessity, water is life, water is everything. And for your instance, if you cannot drink this water, please don't give it to your animals. It's usually so close. Come on, can you imagine? It's about your name. Can you, can you? Kunyo ni kunyo ni Kunyo 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 Kondom tutu Kunyo 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 Yeah no not not really But the only nyati Nyati ni hiyo moja Hiyo mkubo ya ana blow vita Anataka vita na ule ndume mgini Greetings, Bona. Matt Mudama. Matt Mudama. Uh huh. Do you mimi? I looked for you like 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 five shillings. Do mimi. Nime kupata. Do mimi. County number zero zero two, from zero forty seven. A bantu. Yes. Turned into a. Yes. 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 Pastoralist. Yes. How did it start? Started simple. Uh, as you know, as as I told you earlier, I'm a gala goat, enthused. I love gala goats. So, uh, besides that, I, I, I was doing some few things with my family whereby we were doing dairy goats. Mm -hmm. uh, just before COVID, we went for the breeders show. We won. I was like, ah, why not? So the passion grew from, okay, besides even that, the passion has always been there. Just to be self-sufficient. Besides, uh, uh, basically, generally, animals. Animals, we love doing animals. 
not only this uh, in the other side of the world we also doing uh, you saw some chicken and dogs yes the only thing that i fear is the cats but i'll i'll, I'll, I'll consider how did you know i don't want to ask you that question again yes the how many in number yeah, we do uh, africans we don't count we don't count yes enough but we just have enough enough is enough how did you start until you got to enough uh, in a very short time uh not short time eh? it has taken a while consistency uh getting the right breed number one getting the right breed taking care of them and uh giving the right feeds and in the feeds please don't forget about the water yeah. <laughs> water is key without water please don't do this don't try this mr matt yes talking about feeds yes there is a youth watching us. Eh? Yes. And there is a mother watching us. Eh? Yes. These are people who really want to start this thing. Yes. So when you talk about feeds, yes. Maybe. Yes. You tell us what is your feeding program like, and what would you recommend? Yeah. For a starter? Just give us a key. Normal, normal. To be very honest, as you saw me, I'm a pastoralist. Pastoralist means moving from point one to point two. I'm also considering doing feed lots. Feed lots where I grow my own food. You've seen. I do my own food. I do. I'm doing Lausanne, Bracaria, Desmodium, uh, and Sorghum. Um, of course, I hate. I make it. I build them and hate them. Uh, and as I told you, for the goats, I have feeds until next year. Uh, water. I have water for the next 1,000 days. Uh, what else? Uh, you told me your food secure until June yes. 2024. Yes. There's security and sufficient. I'm sufficient. Now, please ask. I saw a tractor. Yes. Clearing the land. Yes. But then you've really invested in equipment. Uh, it's a shovel. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to do some bush clearing. I want to do, as I told you, to do feedlots, so that you've seen just you've just seen my team going to look for an animal that gave birth in the bush. I want to avoid that. Any pregnant cow, thank you very much. Any pregnant cow should be left at home. Feed from home, don't go. After giving birth, let her feed all, all again for another two months. May it be a cow, may it be a goat. Let it feed from home. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So it means yes. your animals yes. go out to graze. Yes. But then yes. you are harvesting. I'm grass. doing yes. I'm growing the grass in a separate chunk of land. Uh -huh. I I'm, I do the the lusan mainly because of protein. As I told you, I'm also doing uh, duckweed because of the protein. I do sorghum because of the starch. I do uh, uh, rods grass, right? So that now I can have enough roughage. Once you do that, I'm set. Wow. Sorry. Yes. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So the harvested grass will cushion you during the dry spell. Uh, I don't have any. I, I know nothing like dry spell. I know nothing. There's nothing like dry spell. The irrigation. Yes, there's nothing like dry spell. The more it's dry, the people call it dry. I go back to my irrigation world, do irrigation, I'm done. Tell us something yes. about your water. How have you, do, you, do you have boreholes? Do you like your pipe water? What happens? Kwale. Finally, quality is, uh, there's a lot of minerals on the ground, so you cannot do any boreholes. So what you do, you do water pans, and uh, in water pans, where people go wrong, they just dig because of digging. What you need to do, you see like me, I have a storage for the next five years. Five years? Yes, of water. I, I'm talking, be, I'm talking uh, of about 45, between 38 to 45 million liters of water that will hold seven, 750 cows and 3,000 goats comfortably for the next five years rain ra comes rainfall comes sunshine i'm sorted you can now get an a, an i a, didn't say i gave, didn't hitch. give a number i didn't give a number a i didn't give a number a hint eh? <laughs> i didn't give a number <laughs> of the number yes i'm so impressed and uh, one thing that amazes me like just carries me off yes is how yeah. you are trying yes so much yes to embrace um the technology tiktok youtube to showcase what you're doing what is the motivation the reason for that i want i do not want to have this technology alone i want to share 
with as many people as possible guys from iraq iran lebanon pakistan those guys are calling me left right and center however some few kenyans have been calling me hey boss how are you doing it are you you know there's some you know there's no juju no i i, I saw your i saw your your goods yes it's a sea of goods and i was like you know they were passing through a market yes i was like no wait a minute I must get this guy. This is, you're looking at the Wal Gala president. <laughs> That's the Wal Gala Mr. president. Matt. Yes. Mr. Matt. Yes. Where Tell the me. president sits is where I'll sit. Which breeds of cows do you keep? I have uh, Sywalls, Brahman, um, Limousine, Cemento, uh, you name you name them. And your target? My target is, uh, my target is to grow. Is to have enough, and enough is enough. You wanna sell for meat? No, 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 no. I don't do meat. I do. I'm a breeder. You breed? It. Yes, yes, yes. Because the reason I'm a breeder, I used to get very, very funny animals. You go to the market, they, you'll get uh, the rejects. Mm -hmm. But now me with my cows, they are auction. I auction. Auction. Them. Very soon, I'll invite you when I'm doing an online auction. Guys from South Africa, Australia, uh, Morocco. You know when they are bidding, the highest bidder. We agree. Wow. Yes. Wow. I also want to do it. Uh, uh, I want to target. Uh, the, we usually have uh, an auction in Kimalel, in Baringo. Mm, yes. so it actually it's run sometimes. It's December. Chaired by the president. Yes, it's usually chaired by. Now we want to change that narrative. Mm -hmm. Let me use the word for the president. Let's change that narrative. Mm -hmm. Kutoka, it's bottom up. This is the bottom of Kenya, mm -hmm. 320 meters above sea level, mm -hmm. going to Kimalel. Mm -hmm. Let's start from here. Let's go up. As their slogan is. Yes, bottom up. I was with the, the Minister of Agriculture. C.S. Lunturi. C.S. Professor Lunturi. Yes. Professor oh. said. Yes. He has an order. Yes. Of thousands of livestock. Yes. To Indonesia. Yes. Let's just listen in to, to the CS. Right now, I have an order. Ngombe Yanyama Elfu Miyamoja Kupeleka Indonesia. Kwani Beza Munataka Ngombe Yuzo Nanani Kama Mweki. You've heard that? Yes. He says he has, a... he has a big order yes. in Indonesia. Yes. And he does not want to supply himself. He does not want government to supply. Yes. He wants you. People like me. The viewer and Mr. Matt yes. to supply. Yes. Please. We don't have these numbers. How can we go? What is your proposal? When it comes to supply in Indonesia, that is not an issue. Supply is not the issue. What will there be a consistency? Uh -huh. So let us let us come back. Let us let us keep this order maybe for the next two years. Let's not supply. Let us produce. Mm. And how do you produce? Let's do it right come to breeders like me let me sell to you and then with that let me give you let me impact a skill not only doing it just because of the hang of money understand right and then uh, the care i told you about this the care and then there's a the feeding if you if you miss one of that boss there's nothing that you're doing so in order for us to do the either indonesia all these arab countries we have to start from the bottom the bottom is this farmer empower this farmer and the Kenyan meat. Yes. Ah, as I was telling you, uh, the World Cup, for those who are fortunate to go to the World Cup, not through TV, physical. Uh, for those who entered Carrefour, there is a special shelf for Kenyan meat. Kenyan meat. meat. It's prime. It's sold at $30 per kg. Gala. And the Brahmans. The Brahman, Saiwal. Saiwal meat is rated one of the best in the world. Any question? No question. Now, yes. we want this young man. Yes. This young lady. Yes. Our mother. Yes. To get it right. Yes. I believe that keeping an animal yes. is not just keeping an animal. Yes, 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 yes. There are certain uh, routine practices. Yes. That come along with it. Yes. What are some of your routine practices? Very basic. Wake up in the morning, pray. Thank God. Ask God for guidance. That's number one. God belly. Mungu belly. After that, you wake up. Go do a routine. Walk around the bombers. Look for the sick cows. Look for who wants to be attended to. You are done. You are sorted. And then from there, it's, it will channel you what to do next. So there is no constant. It is about the health 
of the animal. As you've seen, you've seen my guys from the herding, they come back, they check, you know, we compare notes, how your day was, we hear, yeah. So now you pick it from there. Either you start from there tomorrow from where you stopped, or now you wake up in the morning and start from there and move on. So there's nothing constant as in today we did this, tomorrow we're doing the same. No. You wake up today, it is raining. Ah, uh, what do you do? Let's feed the cows inside. We do the feed lots. Wow, thank you. Mr. Matt. Yes. Very interesting conversation. Anytime. Anytime. There must have been one of your lowest moments. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. What moment was that? Well, we did this. Uh, there, 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 there are some animals. I don't say goats or cows overrated i entered into the hype i'm not mentioning the country Rrr. god brought them some exorbitant prices 170k 250 250,000. things when they landed here losing around 17 at you know in intervals different intervals Those are millions. yes so I, I i i wouldn't want to concentrate much about my lowest moment and i never keep it in my heart unless if asked i always concentrate on tomorrow and to move ahead so the message is yes we have the best uh, kenya kenya at any given time this is the home of champions wow this is the home of humanities welcome home welcome home asante finally yes we want to know yes if you are in business yes, yes. or not mm -hmm. roughly yes how much would it cost you yes to produce one cow let like, come close i wouldn't want you to shout mm -hmm. uh, to produce a cow uh, through free range i usually spend around 50 shillings per cow 50. for a goat is between 15 to 20 shillings wow. daily mm -hmm. yes that is inclusive security movement feeding housing all that if wow. you divide it per day it's 15 shillings for a goat and uh, 50 shillings for a cow in the auction yeah. how much that cow goes? uh my i i had a, i have a cow there uh that would do ten thousand dollars Free. And the rest, uh, the the lowest stage is around three hundred, uh, three thousand, three thousand dollars. Guys, 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 guys. So, but if you go to the market, the same same cow, they will go and give you fifty thousand. The same same cow. But still, there's a profit. But the same same cow. Uh, I want to show people how you do it. Let's go for breed. You know, when you go to the market, you'll get the worst. People sell what they can't keep. Yeah, they, can't they cannot give you what they are keeping. What's your message? Today? My message, uh, number one, as an irrigation engineer, irrigation is not a substitute for rain. Rain is a substitute for irrigation. Look for me, I'll explain. And uh, the only way, it's agriculture. Look for your, 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 your niche and, because, specialize. and specialize on it because we feed thrice, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Look for where you supply. Just for Kenya, we are 50 million. Just make a shilling from every Kenyan, every year. Just a shilling. Wow. Good so nice having you. Anytime. Such a humble person. Karibu Kef. You meet, Ka you meet this guy and you come and see what he's doing. I'm real. You will be surprised. Asante. And this is how this Asante sir. I Love can't that. reach. I'll invite some people to come and visit. Let them come, let them come. I've shared his number on the screen here. You can see his number rolling. If you wanna reach him out, reach him out, call him, meet him, check his WhatsApp, his sorry, his uh, TikTok. TikTok, there's TikTok, there's YouTube. I, uh, YouTube. Thank you. He's trying, uh, you know, come in. Asante. What you're doing. Thank you. Asante. Thank you. There are very many questions that will be asked. How can I start such a farm? It is very interesting. This is a farmer who has done it well. Simple, but on point. How do you do it? Breed, feed, and weed. These are the three key components in farming. Breed your animals so well and concentrate the desired characteristics of what you want to get. Remember, Farming as an agribusiness is all about timing. How much time are you going to keep this animal? Because the more you keep or the longer you keep this animal, the much you spend. Not only that, you want to keep this animal, yes, but you have to attain a certain weight at a particular period. That's all about 
beef production or meat production. So get the right breeds. If you want to do the Brahma, the Sahiwal, the limousine, these are the simple common breeds we have that are easily manageable by anybody. They are disease resistant, drought tolerant, and their feed intake is afforded by any farmer, any youth, any time. So don't go for the very complicated breeds that are heavy feeders, the shallow rays, you know, the he folds, very delicate animals, not tolerant to disease in our local tropical setup. This farmer here tells me he spends up to 50 shillings per animal per day. Even if this animal was sold at just 50,000 shillings, this farmer is making a profit of about 20,000 shillings because this animal can only stay on the farm for two years. Then how is he doing it? One, you have to be feed secure. He is feeding on free range, open grazing, a pastoralist moving from one point to another. But at the same time, he has established his pasture stand where he is able to grow his own pastures, then harvest bale, like you can see behind me, that's a store full of bales of hay. He has planted his pond of duckweed, which will then act as a source of protein to supplement these animals during the dry spell. And he says, with the thousands of animals that he has, he is food secure up to next year, 2024, June. Then feed is important. Lastly, weed. In the breeders show, I happened to meet one of the breeding experts. And he said, when you're keeping a Brahma cow and you're seeing this animal does not meet your required characteristics, then just weed it out, cull it off. We don't keep the name of the animal. We keep the desired characteristics. Remember, deworm your animal on time, stabilize your animal on time, do head counts, because like for now we've seen, animals went out to graze, one cow gave birth in the bush, it came back without the calf. So if this farmer had not done a head count, he would not have realized that there's an animal left behind. The farmer is keeping thousands of goats. Without a head count, he will not be able to know if all the goats that left the pen are back. Losing a goat, losing a cow is losing a profit, is losing a shilling. So don't be lazy if you want to do this thing. There are other avenues of making money in this industry. We not only target to sell the animals. This you see here, it's green, black and brown gold, organic manure. He sells a truck at 20,000 shillings. That's just a lorry of 12 tons. Guys, let's think about this thing. Let's embrace this thing. Let's train our youth back at home to embrace this thing. And that's the only way we'll clear and end banditry.